Butter prawns with oats and egg floss is not just another prawn recipe. In this video, I want to show you how to make this butter prawn recipe Malaysian style. These prawns are crunchy, juicy, and coated with oats and crispy strips of egg floss. Yes, egg floss, crispy and buttery. And this is the secret that makes butter prawn so different from the rest. prawns as a special dish for your next celebration. Your guests will snap away these gorgeous, luscious prawns in the flesh. So let's kick things off with a list of ingredients you need. Here are the ingredients. First we have some prawns, medium to large size. Then we have some egg yolks and some butter to deep fry the egg yolks to make egg floss. And then we have some more butter for sauteing to saute the curry leaves and then sugar some milk powder some salt ground white pepper some instant oats and some bird's eye chili for decoration Step 1 Preparing the prawns for deep frying This recipe requires the prawns to have the shell on The egg floss and the oats will adhere to the surface What a Beautiful presentation. It's not difficult to clean the prawns. First, get a scissor to cut away the head. And then, turn the prawn over and cut away all the legs. And then, remember to remove the, the last section of the abdomen, which is very sharp. It may hurt you. Next, use the scissor to cut open the shell of the back of the prawns starting from the front and then remove the intestinal vein this part is the digestive tract of the prawn which is dirty and smelly and leave the tail intact for better appearance and then cut the back of the prawn deeper and butterfly the prawn wash again under running water Put all the prawn in a colander to drain away the water and then put it on a piece of kitchen towel to let it dry and set aside. Step 2. Preparing the seasonings and herbs. The most unique herbs in this recipe is curry leaves. As the name goes, curry leaves are used to make curry. But you can certainly use curry leaves to prepare many other Asian dishes just like this one. Combine the sugar, milk powder, salt, white pepper and the oats together and set aside. Step 3. Make the egg floss. As I said, the unique element of this recipe is the egg floss, which is specific to this recipe. As such, I will elaborate further to ensure you will succeed in your first attempt. First, heat up the butter in a wok. Then, pour the egg yolks into the wok at a high point, slowly and consistently. At the same time, beat the yolk vigorously with a wire whisk until it forms numerous fine strings. Keep stirring the oil even after pouring all the egg liquids into the oil. Keep the oil hot enough throughout the process. Don't worry, the butter will look for me, which is expected. Check the color of the egg strips from time to time. Remove it when it start to turn golden brown. Please take note that since the oil is very hot, the color of the egg strips will become even darker after removing from the oil. Then, place the egg strips in a wire mesh strainer. By now, the egg has become golden brown and crispy. Drain off the oil, set aside. And this is the egg floss which is a very unique ingredient for butter prawn. Making egg floss is tedious, but I do not mind to take the extra miles to make the egg floss. It is heavenly delicious. 
Step four, deep fry the prawns. The best way to deep fry the prawns is to use an electric deep fryer. You can also put the prawns in the deep frying basket and lower it into a pot of hot oil. The secret is to keep the oil at high heat throughout the deep frying process. Preheat the vegetable oil to at least 180 degrees Celsius. Make sure the prawns are dry before deep frying to avoid splattering. You need to deep fry the prawns until it turns pink and translucent. This process may take about one to one and a half minutes, and it all depends on the size of the prawns. The final step, combine all the ingredients with the prawns. You are now ready to be enchanted by the symphony of aroma of prawns, eggs, and the curry leaves. Now the aroma will drift into your sitting room and allure everyone into the kitchen standing behind you. The final step, combine everything together. Heat up about 2 tablespoons of butter. Add the curry leaves and saute over low heat until it turns aromatic. The time required is quite short, usually within a minute. And then, add the dry mix seasoning and mix briefly with the oil and curry leaves. You will find that the sugar and the salt may not dissolve, which is okay as you will taste the different flavors separately. Lastly, add the prawn into the wok. Combine the prawn together with the dry ingredients. Have a quick stir fry. Do remember to add back the egg floss into it. Again, combine everything together and now it's time to enjoy your butter prawn. Butter prawns with oats and egg floss is a very unique Malaysian Chinese cuisine. These prawns are crunchy, juicy, coated with oats and the crispy strips of egg floss. I've just shown you how to make butter prawns with oats and egg floss in just 5 steps. You can print out the recipe and access to the complete articles on butter prawns at my blog, tasteasianfood.com butter prawns. Do try out the recipe and let me know by leaving your message in the comment sections below. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again in another recipe video. I'm Kitty Kwan. Bye for now.